So there are growing calls to ban pit bulls as pets in the country. A petition by the Siswe Kupelo Foundation has garnered over 20,000 signatures in support of this motion. There's been, uh, there have been various incidents where the seemingly vicious dogs are reported to have mauled to death young children. Recently, a 10-year-old in Nelson Mandela Bay was killed by two of the family's pit bulls. The foundation wants government to put restrictions on the ownership of this breed of dog. Let's talk more about this then. I'm joined by Siswe Kupelo to take the conversation forward. Siswe, what moved you to the point of initiating a petition that says pit bulls must be banned as pets in South Africa? We are an organization that looks after the interests of vulnerable children. So what prompted us to engage on this call was the recent incident of a 10-year-old who died from Kabeka. We felt that uh, enough is enough. We, it's time that we engage with government and demand that uh, government impose, imposes a ban on the breed because we view it as extremely dangerous. In fact, it is a little animal that is not supposed to be kept as a domestic animal. This is why we need government to classify it uh, and, and classify it under wild animals because there are a number of cases that have been reported in the country and elsewhere in the world. And we're saying all positively to our call. South Africa is not going to be the first country uh, to impose such a ban. Russia, the United Kingdom, parts of China and Portugal have done it. Why can't South Africa do the same? Uh, because we have a constitution that guarantees us a right to life. So many people have died, particularly children, in, the, in South Africa. So it is time for government to take action and get rid of the spread. But we are very uh, moderate in approach. We are not brutal, we are not uh, cruel, even though we are not uh, an organization that looks after the rights of animals. We are saying start by castrating all male pit bulls and sterilizing all females so as to prevent further, further breeding uh, going forward. Yeah. What will we say to those who say um, not to minimize the impact of even a single death um, due to an attack by a pit bull? But what will you say to those who say the, your argument is not supported by a high frequency uh, of people being killed by this breed of animal. I mean, I see from the numbers that you cite, you cite an incident in 2019, and I think you cite um, two uh, in the last two or so years. Every soul, every human being is important in this country. Each and every one of our citizens are guaranteed a right to life by the constitution of the country. We cannot wait for 100 people to die. There are many other instances that have led to the death of many, many South Africans. So someone they had to stand up in organizations such as ours had to stand up and say, government, it is time to act. Uh, there are a number of cases. Um, there are cases that were never reported in the media. Since we started the campaign, we are hearing of horror stories, heartbreaking stories that are being brought to our attention by victims of this uh, of this dog. As I'm speaking to you, we got information that there's a lady who is currently fighting for her life at an ICU in the Western Cape after being attacked by this animal. So we cannot wait. Every life is important. And government has yeah. a responsibility to protect uh, each and every one of us. And we're further saying government must go beyond this breed. All power breeds such as Rottweiler, Burgul, uh, Great Danes, all such a, a power breeds should be regulated. You should not just uh, wake up and decide that I'm going to own this dog. But this particular dog, it has proven itself to be lethal. It, it is unpredictable. It has uh, attacked so many people. If you go beyond the borders of South Africa, in America, you will be told that even though it counts for 6% of the population of dogs there, but it counts for 86% of attacks, which include... Uh, a fatal ones. The, the rest said being the one that occurred while we uh, were already engaged on this uh, a campaign where a family lost two of uh, its children. And this is an animal that does not come out of the bush or a stray animal that would just come and, and kill people. 
it turns against its own owners and their family members. We can't keep uh, this breed within communities. It must be declassified. We are very clear on that. We are very mm -hmm. happy with the support that we are receiving from South Africans. We've got over close to 200,000 people that have uh, viewed our petition. We've got uh, over 11,000 that have shared. And we call upon South Africans to join. They can uh, log on to Facebook and go to our Facebook page, which is the Kupelo Foundation. They'll find a link there. It will also direct them to a WhatsApp where automatically you get the link so that you sign. We must get, gather uh, as many signatures as we can before yeah. we take this petition to the executive. Lastly, Siswe, um, I've heard in the past, whenever this debate had come up, um, that it's not the pit bull uh, or the animal that is problematic. It's the conditions in which the animal is kept. It's the way that the animal is socialized and trained uh, by the owner and also handled uh, by the owner. So the responsibility being more on the owner than it is on the animal itself. And I can imagine, uh, I'm imagining that this argument will come up again as a counter argument to what you are saying. You do not have to be a rocket scientist to realize that so many people have lost their lives. And if nothing is done following this call, more people are going to lose their lives. We know of uh, victims who are today lost both their arms. They don't have uh, limbs because of this dog. That, the, the, the time to train, to study, and learn about this breed is over. It is time to get rid of the breed. It is not fit to be amongst the society. Declassify it. It must become a wild animal because it's got a, a killer instinct. Even those who are breeders, uh, they can come up with a tangible argument. And we can't come with scientific arguments when people are dying. Our concern is the loss of life. We are very happy that uh, even the association of those who are, uh, are, are, are breeding the, the dog have uh, uh, invite us, uh, invited us to a meeting. But nobody is going to lobby us and try to pursue us to think otherwise. We are very clear. We want government to take action. We are going to physically deliver this petition to the Department of Agriculture, to Minister Togo Titiza. We have also returned to the Minister of Police. We are saying to the Minister of Police, you have a problem with the disused mines that, which are being resuscitated by illegal miners. You can get, give this job to well-trained uh, job unions, K9, uh, K9 and, 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 and let them utilize it to guard those uh, mines and the borders of the country, but not untrained or ordinary South Africans who are at risk. And I want to call upon jokers, athletes, who are always on the road in the early hours of the morning. They are the most vulnerable group to this dog. They can be attacked anytime. It yeah. is time for them to join us, sign this petition so that we appeal to government. And if yeah. uh, the executive is not responding, we're going to parliament. We are pre pre prepared to go to court if needs be, but we trust our government that uh, they are sure. going to uh, respond positively to the call by South Africa. All right. Sizwe, let's leave it there. Uh, clearly, the fight on your side has just begun. Uh, and as you say, you will take further steps uh, if you need to. That is Sizwe Kupelo there, who is the founder of the Sizwe Kupelo Foundation. It's an interesting conversation. We do hope to hear from other voices within society to ban or not to ban in as far as the pit bull terrier 